how much fun would it have been to film this? Like, all those stars. If you could honor one inspirational woman out there, who would you choose? I dig Maroon 5. I always have. I was watching this recently. This is sick. His voice is so nice. I wish I had that falsetto. It's insane. This is the one with Cardi B. Freaking love, Camilla. Oh. Also, they're changing. This is a very like simple setup compared to most of their videos. They only have one shot and they just spin and they use all their money to get other people to come in. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, Ali Raisman! Yes! Yeah, speak your truth. You go, girl. I love Sarah Silverman. Can't wait for Reg and Ralph too, by the way. All the girls are coming out. Oh, this is so cute. Is this like a hashtag me too sort of thing where you just invite a lot of really powerful women like like Wonder Woman onto the music video? Oh my god, uh, Gal Gadot! Must have been the easiest day for all these girls at the studio. <laughs> Go and just dance a little bit behind him. Is that Lily Singh? Oh, Lily! They got YouTubers up in here! This is the best way to make an otherwise patronizing song not so patronizing. Tiffany! I love Tiffany! This is just like a rotating door of celebrities. That's, this is so good. It is so beautiful. He had Ellen on this. Oh my God, I love this. Me and him? Uh. <laughs> I almost destroyed the set. Oh, hey. I didn't know she was going to be in this. Cardi B. She's dope. Cardi B. This song just went up five notches. So who you gonna call party, party? Come and rev it up like a holly, holly, why is I'm just not a fan of her. Jack reminds me of something that April would wear in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't play when it comes to my heart, let's get it though. I don't really want a white horse in a carriage. I'm thinking more white horse in a carriage. I need you right Love this. Come on. Kitty like you play with your guitar. Is that J-Lo? Oh my god. I love so much diversity in this music video. They're so fast, they're getting even more. Man, they got like everyone. What in the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all just female empowerment. It's really cool. This must have been a really fun shoot. How much fun would it have been to film this? Like, all those stars? Oh, is this his wife? Oh, that's so cute! And his little daughter, I bet it's for his little daughter. Look at all these women of all colors, all shapes, different stories. Yes! That was a really beautiful song. You don't have to be a certain look to be loved by somebody like Adam Levine. A whole cast of like every empowering, amazing woman from the arts, from social, political, sports, from every corner of the world. I saw Maroon 5 the very first night of their ever headlining tour. And they've gone way more poppy and dancey and like mainstream, but that is so stripped down and just that acoustic riff over and over again 
is kind of mesmerizing. It's totally different, but maybe that was to get the message across. So that was the video for Girls Like You, the latest song from Maroon 5 featuring Cardi B. Mm -hmm. I think Cardi B always adds like a fun little like flair to a song. We're gonna talk about the video more in a second, but first, what did you think of having two artists like Maroon 5 and Cardi B together like this? I loved it. I've been waiting for Maroon 5 to come back with some heat. So if they're gonna come back with some heat, they better do it with the hottest person in right now, which is Cardi. It's crazy how much like Cardi B can be like with anybody. It's like my mom knows who Cardi B is, so it's kind of like, okay, she can basically do anything. I really liked it, actually. That one just like really meshed well. That one just went, like the beat with her and also like the lyrics just really combined really well together. Cardi B definitely meshes better with like Bruno Mars and Migos. When this video was shot, it's like they probably could have been in two completely different recording studios, so I couldn't actually see their chemistry. So the video was notable for having a number of celebrity cameos, but in addition to just being famous, many people pointed out that there's a lot of other inspirational women included in the video. Yeah, definitely. Among those featured included uh, many activists, prominent LGBT figures, artists, and athletes who broke new ground in their industry, and even the first Somali-American Muslim legislator to be elected to office in the U.S. Oh my gosh! Damn, I just got chills a little bit. So what did you think about their effort to include such a diverse group of women in this video? I loved it. Different colors, different backgrounds, different um, religions. A lot of the Me Too was included in there as well. It was a very diverse group of people. It kind of shows that we all are strong in our own different ways. They could have played it safe and just made it sort of a generic like, oh, it's summertime. I say kudos to Maroon 5 for switching it up with some political commentary. Maroon 5's so big and Cardi B is so big that people be drawing to this video, they're gonna be like, I wanna see who, who I missed and go like, okay, who was that? Who was that? Who was that? And look them up, it makes you dive in. There's so much like injustice and just hate in the news and just like in media in general. So it's really awesome to see such like a poppy group shine light and use their platform to like highlight these really inspirational women. Among these women were two who are notable for their success on YouTube, Francesca Ramsey and Lily Singh. What do you think about how YouTube has gotten to a place where its stars can be featured right next to traditional media celebrities in a video like this? I love it. I love YouTube because I, I feel like that leaves space for everybody to say, you know what, I could I could make a difference too. They are just as much on the same level as Ellen DeGeneres, as you know Gal Gadot, as all these people that are so big up there, these huge celebrities, these huge athletes, that they are just as much an inspiration to these kids as these people that are on TV and big blockbuster movies. Not only is that amazing, and those creative forces deserve that attention, but you know, that's also where all the youth is. Rune Five's like production person is, slash marketing person, slash press person. That was a smart move. So finally, this video is honoring inspirational women, so we wanted to give you a chance to do the same thing. If you could honor one inspirational woman out there, who would you choose? Oh my god, no, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna see my mom. She's just a hard worker. She's showed me that there's no easy way out of anything. Like, she's always been like, ponte las pilas, which means turn on those batteries and get to work, because that's the only way you're gonna hustle in this life. My mom's so awesome. For her to just be this compassionate and loving figure and such like a role model in my life, uh, she deserves a world. Emma Watson, because she's been an activist in women's rights and just so many different things ever since Harry Potter. And my wife. I'm in awe all the time of every task that she takes on. It's, it's unbelievable. Maybe Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> Maybe Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I'm just letting you know that there are a lot of iconic women that would fit right into that video. My mom is the nicest person I've ever met in my life. She taught me kill him with kindness in the sense that instead of getting revenge, instead of getting mad, just find a way to love each other and it'll work out. I've always been obsessed with Audrey Hepburn, not just because she was this EGOT winner, but I just felt like she spent a lot of her later years giving back. Jennifer Lopez, she's done so much for our community uh, to make us present in American culture and to make it to make it clear that, that we're here, that this is us, that we're part of our country. My mom is a straight G. She went through so much. We've been homeless, we've been broke, we've lived on our own. My mom is such an inspiration and she could just go through anything. This is the first time I've ever cried on the show, but it's because my mom has done so much. Like, this song should be dedicated to her. I don't care what anybody says. Forget 
like Camila Cabello for Get Cardi B. This song is for my mom. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Adults React. Subscribe and hit the bell for more great content. And shout out to Yellow Sunshine and Jasmine McKinnon. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you later. Hi, guys. JC here, producer here at FB. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Adult Track. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at FB for a behind the scenes look at how we put all these episodes together. Links are down below. Bye, guys.